Right, memories of Sefton Park. This is my GCE revision space where I settled down in the sun with physics and maths notes and fell asleep desperately trying to learn facts rather than absorb concepts. And another place where I learned stuff and observed concepts, the church I grew up in. But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Authorised version, of course, and the spell checker didn't like commend us one little bit. It's luxury housing now, and as is the neighbouring church about a minute up the road. If this was mainstream media, it would be yet more evidence of the church decline. All right for simpler times, irrelevant now. Then I remember those who shared that irrelevance there. There's, uh, oh yeah, him who leads the church in Lancashire, and there's uh, him who joined Long Lane and led the Sunday school for years. And, uh, oh yeah, and he led a church in Wigan. And there was the one who led a rehabilitation charity. There were two who served in a mission school in India. Uh, the couple who started a Sunday school in Highton. Uh, one who went to work with CAP long before the lane got into that. There was another team who planted a Sunday school in Smithtown. There was a couple of RE teachers, some who were inspired into social work or nursing, some who crammed far too many kids into a Ford Transit to bus them to a Sunday school. Oh yeah, and I met Bren there. And that other church up the road started several other church plants. One was in Garston called Bridge something or other. Now I think of it, that irrelevance has had quite an impact. And to be honest, I don't think that that place was all that special. There were irrelevant churches having that sort of impact all over the town, all over the country. There still are. Now, of course, that church had pastor, had leaders, had a guy who played fairly cool jazz piano. But what kicked off this retrospection was Jenny Woods. She's long past, so it's OK to, to name her. A very dour, very Scottish spinster lady. Story has it that her man never returned from World War II. She led the infant Sunday school and shoehorned memory verses into us like our lives depended on it. They probably did. She used flannel graph, a sort of low-tech TikTok, to mention to instill the foundation of Bible stories. To the casual observer, Jenny might be like those ex-churches. Not that relevant, maybe a little bit sad. But in kingdom terms, in real terms, she's an uber influencer. She had a hand in building that service team I recited earlier. Who was, who is, your Jenny, who gave you your Christian foundation, who built on it. As you remember, thank God for them, for they are part of what he set up for you before the foundation of the world. And if they're still around, thank them too. It will give them an immense buzz. Be inspired to be that kind of influencer for the next lot.